Tomorrow marks 50 years since one of the saddest moments in American history, the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. It happened at the Lorraine Hotel in Memphis, Tennessee, preserved in its original state as part of the National Civil Rights Museum. ASEAN Rhodes is in Memphis tonight as the nation and the world prepare to celebrate Dr. King's life. She's joining us live outside the church where Dr. King delivered his final speech. Sian? And a special service commemorating that final speech just wrapping up a short time ago. It was 50 years ago tonight on a cold and rainy night, much like tonight, that Dr. King would give what would become his final speech, known as the mountaintop speech, in which he prophesied his own death. But it really doesn't matter with me now, because I've been to the mountaintop. Inside the darkened church, there was silence as an audio recording of Dr. King's last speech given in this very building was played. I may not get there with you. Hundreds of people gathering at Mason Temple Tuesday night just as they did 50 years ago. It's time to repent. Repent. We must change our attitude. We must change our direction. Two of King's children addressing the crowd from the very pulpit where their father spoke that it only takes a few good women and men to bring about change. So I want to rush to tell you, do not get any ways tired. Why? Because we've come much too far from where we started. Houston native journalist Roland Martin says the true challenge to uphold and advance we've Dr. King's legacy is ahead. before us right now. What will they say about us 50 years from now? When they have the 100th anniversary of this commemoration, will folks still talk about what happened in 68, or will they say what happened in 2018 and 2020? And tomorrow is a day of remembrance. There will be events all day long at the National Civil Rights Museum, which sits on the grounds of the Lorraine Motel, where Dr. King was murdered. They are expecting tens of thousands of people to be there, and we will be there as well, bringing you coverage on air and online. For now, reporting live in Memphis, Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News.